this is Isha here from Isha's Crafty Side and today I'm here to share with you all my design team project for not too shabby shop and uh, for my project for today I have used this whimsy stamp and this is called Sally uh, Sunny Harvest and it's super cute a uh, girl with uh, you know fall clothes and boots and she has a big flower over here I just love 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 her with beautiful long hair and she's so super cute and I have used her uh, to make my Halloween project because uh, when I uh, saw the stamp um, I thought that as if she looks like you know all dressed up in her Halloween costume so I thought that this would be so perfect to use and uh, mm, most probably Jamie still has this image um, or, I mean the stamp if you would like to check out her store I'll be leaving the link to her store in the description box below and to get your 10% discount at checkout with her sale um, you could use my coupon code crafty side um, deals are going on you can add on my coupon and get an extra 10% off so that would be a great deal so don't forget to use the coupon code if you visit her store and I would say definitely visit her store because um, it's like a holiday season coming up and she has a great collection for the Christmas stamps and the images just now so definitely check out her store okay guys so yeah I will not make you wait much and I'll share with you all what I did. So here is my project. This is a small treat bucket I have created. And this was a small bucket which you get in a Target $1.50 bin. It's a very uh, small bucket but it's good enough to uh, store the goodies inside. So I, when I saw this bucket I was like yes I'm gonna have this and alter it for my daughter. Um, you know I'm gonna add goodies for her and this is going to be her Halloween treat bucket and I just love the way it has turned out um, for as I said that I use this image I just colored her up with my zip clean color real brush markers and I am in so so love with these I have the 36 pack but Jamie also carries um, a smaller pack of 12 or something so they are so good I am really loving loving uh, you know to play with them and as you can see the coloring has come out so so pretty and I love this girl look she's so pretty I try to color her hair black because my daughter has black hair and I um, you know colored her dress to be orange and red you know like in Halloween colors and she holds a beautiful yellow flower and the leaves and you can see the shading in the um, leaves and her dress and everything these marks colors blend so so well you know and I just love the way it turned out the image coloring turned out really I'm a learner but it turned out very very good after I colored the image I just fussy cut her out I just did a border on uh, you know outline with my pencil and cut her out and then I have um you know inked up whole image with my chalk edger the green one and it really um I wanted to uh, bring out a bit of green so it really uh, turned out very very cute um I just covered the whole bucket with this paper and this paper is from uh, after the dark collection and I think this I got at AC Moore and it's so pretty and beautiful perfect for Halloween projects and cards and all so I had picked up this um, collection and I used the spider web paper and I just color uh, covered the whole bucket uh, with it and then to as i said i wanted to accent a green i use this um you know paper stripe green color one this is from the um it's a scrap from my graphic 45 and hair tail collection so i use that uh, stripe there to bring out a bit of green as you can see i just put it like that and then uh what did i do was that i took one of the cut out from the collection which said happy halloween i just cut out the sides and made it a small tag and i put it there with uh, 
some of your baker twine the halloween theme baker twine on the top of it you could also get these baker tw baker's twine at jamie's store so yeah i i put the baker's twine here and then i also put a tag over here from the collection which says keep calm and costume on and uh, i made a tag out of it at an eyelet and with the baker's twine i just added it there and it looks so cute i love it and uh, for uh, these um tops and the bottoms i have used a beautiful crochet uh, lace i had in my stash it is a crochet lace and it also has a satin ribbon going through it see and i placed it at the top as well as at the bottom and then to accent my bucket i use my black rhinestone mesh bling trim just a single border of it on the top and the bottom and it looks very very pretty you know and my my girl loves sparkly stuff so <laughs> she's gonna love it and then then I also um, use the baker's twine at the top of uh, you know so I use the top of the bucket over here and also at the handles I just you know turn the baker's twine all around and finished uh, the handle so the silver doesn't look up and so I made this beautiful treat bucket okay and then I uh, wanted to add certain stuff inside it so I altered uh, certain things um, my daughter loves to craft <laughs> so I had got some of these you know pom pom kits and all which you get at AC Moore and Michaels and all I keep collecting them and when she does something good I just uh, give one as a gift so um, I got one of these for her to add into her tree bucket and I embellished its top I used the um, paper from the paper collection and added a ticket there which says october with a pumpkin i added huge googly eyes and some of this black um you know cotton uh, um like twine like thing i have you know threads or thicker threads i have these are cotton ones and i tied a lot of them i think five or six of them into a bow and it uh, to make some like mustaches and it looks so cute so i just dressed up this and i'm gonna put it over here like that and i hope you can see it just back out a bit so you can see so that's how it looks and then i also wanted to add a candy so i took a hershey bar and with the leftover of this paper which i used at the top of there um i just uh, wrapped it up on the bar i made a bow with the same black uh, twine cotton twine and i added this uh, uh, cut out the owl cut out which is from the paper collection and i added her uh, googly eyes to that too and this is how i dressed up her candy which is going to go inside like that and then um i wanted to add a bitty uh toy to her treat bucket so here is her toy i got um this pumpkin uh scary pumpkin uh light and this is has a hook so she can hang it um in her bag and you know children love to use the light one so this is a light up keychain and it's a pumpkin one i got that and this pumpkin is going to stay up like that so that's the treat bucket i created using the whimsy stamp and the papers um from my stash i hope you all liked it and i hope you i could inspire you to create some cute fun treat bags for your children and i wish you all a very very happy halloween and if you like my work if you uh, like to watch my videos don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also do let me know in your comments that what do you think about this project Definitely check out Jimmy's store. I'll be leaving the link. And don't forget to use my coupon code Crafty Side for 10% discount. I'm so sorry for my daughter's um, voice in the background. <laughs> Forgive me. But yeah, that's it for today from my side. I will see you all guys later with a new crafty project. Bye now. Stay